so another very very important you know a concept of uh, i believe personally you know this is i don't know whether other technical analysts believe it or not, uh, not but i personally believe and have got excellent results from this concept which is about moving averages taking a support right or moving averages going through a resistance so what are basically first and foremost moving averages so let me take you to the investopedia site and moving averages are basically wide, widely used indicator in techno, technical analysis that helps smooth out price action by filtering out the noise from the random price fluctuations right so there are two kinds of basically moving averages simple moving averages which is just simple summation let's say i use a 10 simple moving average means the past 10 candles closing price will be added up and the arithmetic mean will be found for those whereas in the exponential moving averages you will be given the the, the late like recent prices will be given more weightage right and it's a little smoother doubt so then he is explaining you how how do you really calculate the moving averages let's say there are five days these are the closing prices so the moving average will find out the average of all these price five data similarly here and here he uh, the mo uh, simple moving average will calculate the average of all these points and then it will plot it right now this is moving average now i want to explain you when i say the support and the resistance offered by the moving averages you know i believe it's a very very important concept which i don't see any other technical analyst using so see here this moving average this is so i basically my setup use 10 simple moving average 50 simple moving average and 200 simple moving average right so how do you put in everything i'm going to teach you later but otherwise you can just go to simply studies and go to the moving average right here is the moving average and what you need to do simply select you know let's say uh, we take 50 i have three of them i use three moving averages so the first one is 10 the next one is 50 and the next one is 200 right i only use three these three moving averages right so you one after the other you will keep changing the data here and keep applying the uh, different different you know moving averages so here it is 50 moving average give it a color red and done you you to use only simple if you click here you will get various other options you know exponential uh, triangular all these you know vidya etc so, but i use simple only right i use simple only and offset is nothing just done right similarly you do it another time go here moving averages and click it again and this time you can take the 10 and give it a color simple and done right and so on so forth you will do for the 200 moving average as well so what i want to tell you here that moving averages whenever they take a support or the resistance they offer a great great you know opportunity for us to go to buy like for example look at it this is how beautifully this is flips carbon the stock is the moving average is taking support for quite good time you know see here and then see how beautiful breakout has come always you will always find that the breakout will be like this only whenever the moving average what should be a time frame remember it has to be one day remember the time frame has to be one day you can see it here the time frame for us is one day okay now let's see further uh, somewhere else if i could find in one this stock itself see here moving average taking the support 10 moving average is taking the support right here again 10 moving average taking the support here again 10 moving average is taking the support right so every time 10 moving average takes a support the stock will go up let's look into the graphite india right if you look into the uh, any other stock uh, every stock where one day time frame look at this 10 moving average is taking the support right it's almost like a support it's broken 50 but then go very very far away i would consider this as a support only and see the beautiful run up right so i continuously look for these kind of breakouts you know where the moving averages are taking the support see here this is moving average taking the support and the stock has gone up right so every time moving averages take a support in one day time frame it's a good opportunity for us to go long see here this is taking a support 
and from here stock has gone up so i have some very very you know um, good uh, like i keep you know certain stocks which i really like which i find and they are fundamentally good i keep them on my radar and every time i find a moving average taking the support i create my position in them right now see here similarly you have the resistance so whenever the moving average take a resistance the stock will come down see here i hope you can watch it see the resistance moving average taking a resistance here and the stock has come down see the stock has come down this is the downfall stock has experienced right so this is the downfall stock has experienced now let's take up some more example where the moving average have taken a resistance so this is dr reddy let's see if i could find a clear example here so moving averages support and resistances are very very important and the time frame has to be one day it can never be less than one day fine so see here moving average see here the price is pretty clustered but see here this is 10 moving average this is taking a support and the price have gone up see here moving average is taking a support and the price have gone up right similarly this moving average even the price is taking a resistance and the price the the stock has come down right so always monitor clearly this is a double bottom right beautiful double bottom support on 200 moving average pretty much indication that the stock will go up right see here moving average is taking a support very good support and price has gone up stock has gone up i'll show you in hdfc bank i'll show you in hdfc bank uh where is hdfc bank here see hdfc bank here moving average is taking a support and then it has gone up right then look at here this moving average is also taking a support here and then the price have gone up this one is again a beautiful support and the price have gone up right every time moving averages take a support consider it to be a very very look at the 50 moving average taking a support the bigger the time frame more authentic your trade will be so here 50 moving average is taking a support and this is how it has gone up right i'll show you in kotak mahindra bank many a times it happens in kotak mahindra bank you know this is one of my favorite stock so every time it takes a resistance it comes down and every time it takes a support the moving average takes a support it took a support here and the price have gone up right see here moving average is taking a support you can see i'm highlighting it moving average is taking a support and the price have gone up right so remember that bigger the support more authentic your trade will be i will show you atg atg also is showing here see here moving average is taking a support can you see this moving average is taking support this is 10 50 moving average this is 10 moving average and the price have gone up right you have to keep on finding out such stocks see here moving average is taking a support and the moment price goes up you have an opportunity to go long so this i believe is a very very important concept you know it can also be used in future stock to sell them right if you want to sell a stock and it's a future stock you can definitely use this particular concept of moving average taking a resistance this is hindalco hindalco took a support for good some time and then see the flight it has taken here again it is taking a support and it's going up right so moving averages when they take support they will always show a very very beautiful upper trend see here this moving average has taken a support right on 50 as well as in 200 and it has gone up right and it has gone up see here moving average is taking a resistance and the stock has fallen down so massively so i really respect the moving averages see here this is the moving average taking a resistance and it has come down this moving average taking a resistance it has come down right so every time see here beautiful support this is 200 moving average 50 moving average has taken a support wow beautiful this is an absolutely excellent support and look look at it from where it has gone where it's from 110 to 
it reached up to 197 100, 200 oh my god this is almost doubling beautiful beautiful trade never miss such trade i hope you can connect with what i'm saying right this is you know when the stock is when it is coming down so you know what what is very very important is you have to be emotionless means if your trade falls into place then only you will trade otherwise you will not trade look at this moving average same same stock um, you know hindalco moving average is taking the resistance and the stock has come down right and how much it has come down from here 138 it has come down to 103 huge 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 value see here again it's taking the resistance and stock has fallen from 183 to 132 good 50 points so you get huge trades whenever you see a moving average taking the support or resistance you can do that with any stock right any stock whether it is a you know future stock if you have a future stock you can go for options and if you have a you know the uh, future stock you can even buy its options its options as well as its future future lot will have little less volatility whereas op options will have less investment and more volatility right so moving average is taking a support and it has gone up from here to here huge flight so any stock i'm not saying that you have to uh, only look for one or two stocks it is any stock whenever the moving averages take a support here can you see <coughs> and it has gone up look at the beautiful flight it takes and exactly same thing happened in many stock at the same time when this this you know half moon was forming here it was exactly the period is basically um, beginning of april right this period is beginning of april let me show you everywhere everywhere it's this kind of a half moon forming everywhere right so after that all it stock have taken a flight in the upper direction right whether you look into infi or you look into infi wasn't that clear but still it was also in the uptrend only right from the bottom it has gone up or you talk about you know tata lxi or you talk about the tata tech mahindra each and every stock see here the same time all the all of them it, it even had the double bottom and then moving average has taken a turn and the flight the the stock has taken a huge huge flight so this is moving averages taking support or the resistance you know like the way they are taking support exactly same way they take the resistance and the stock comes down like see here beautiful resistance this moving average 50 moving average has taken even 10 moving average and see the downfall this stock has had starting from 961 it has come down to 513 almost became 50 percent that's the kind of beauty of you know this kind of a trade so whenever moving averages will take a support see here this is you know 2015 from here, uh, here 594 it went up to thousand something almost doubling oh my god see here this is how the moving average is taking support and 618 or 602 it went up to 1150 almost doubling the price in few days how many days 10th of july to 18th of one month the price doubled this is the beauty of finding the moving averages see here moving average is taking the support right and how and where the price went from 290 it became 734 within one and a half or two months three times return imagine if it's a future lot how much money you will get so this is you know uh, taking moving averages taking support and resistance please keep them very very clear and very very clearly in your mind right so always remember that i really love these moving averages every time i get a trade but i usually prefer to trade in equity of course or or long term even long term i really uh, you know feel it's a good good opportunity to enter in the sense suppose you take any equity and keep it with you it's a good good trade or you want to sell it sell it in the futures right so see here moving average taking a resistance see for, see the downfall and then it made a double bottom and now it's heading up right mfsl double bottom and now it's heading up so after as you remember double bottom 
and this is a very very prominent support for MFSS 427 you want to see if it had in the past also this kind of a support because in the previous slide we just studied that this is a all the stocks have important levels of support and the resistance so let's see does it exist in the past and let me just draw a line see here this is how it has taken support here in the past here in the past and it has crossed this barrier in the past right so this is definitely 427 or 425 is a you know is a zone where the stock experiences a resistance or support right so what i'm trying to tell you here is that moving averages if they take support or resistance be assured that you are getting a good trade look at this here 50 moving average is taking a support now from 143 the stock went up to 521 right do it for equity stocks definitely but if you get in future stocks also never to leave it right never to leave it so i want to show you one more stock it's called jbma i gave it on you know youtube also i gave it on youtube as well so let me just see if i could put it somewhere uh what can i delete what can i delete uh team please i can delete and i'm going to add here jbma right jbma auto and see it has taken a good support i gave that on youtube here at this particular part i gave the stock right at this particular point 345 and where it went within few days it almost doubled 630 right from here to here good 300 points it gave in within few days that's the beauty right so please be sharp in your eyes for the supports and the resistance and there is one more point that i would like to tell you when it takes a support the candle size should be will always be small right why because there is an activity which is happening you know like this big big players which whom we call as domestic institutional investors or fis they are buying and selling so what they do they don't buy and sell in big chunks otherwise people will get to know like when they see this kind of big bullish candles forming people rush towards the stock so what they do they don't want to buy on a very high price so whenever there's a you know the moving average is taking the support it only takes it, this happens only when institutional buying takes place so that is why immediately after that you will see such a huge run up one more stock that I have just recently given was Pfizer I gave Pfizer so anyway this wasn't moving average taking the support but this the stock has been just you know uh, phenomenally going up very very nicely it's been going up so it was a different criteria altogether but what i'm trying to tell you here is that moving averages if they take support or the resistance you get a very very authentic trade always look for it that whenever such a thing will happen the buying and the buying will be in small small bits let me show you here in flips carbon whenever the big buying comes you know the see here you will see whenever moving average is taking the support the institutional buying will give you small candles right it's called consolidation as well but what is very significant that they don't let the price fall they don't let the price go up that means they are ensuring that the market does not become volatile why it's not falling down why because they're buying at the at this level they believe it's a very very good opportunity to enter why the prices are not going up because they're buying in bits and pieces right many people who have bought it somewhere here they believe it's an opportunity to exit so these people are selling who have bought it at the lower price and some intelligent investor you know maybe a domestic investor is buying in bits and pieces which we don't know right based on a news so flips carbon also uh, this buying happened based on a particular news and see from here the stock has taken a flight so you have to have a very very sharp tuned eye for this kind of a trade i want to show you one more trade which i gave it was almost in the same format you know which is wenkies i want to show you wenkies how it took a flight look at wenkies 
this is the place where i where i gave it over here look at it the small buying was happening and i saw the prices were stagnant for quite some time and look at the flight it took you know i gave it at 2900 or something 2800 within few days it touched 4500 also means good about 2000 or 2 uh, 1800 points you know it's a huge huge value it's a huge amount of money that one could earn with such trades right so keep these kind of trades on your radar every time moving average takes a support your candle size will become small you will never find big candles when it's taking the support see here like so this is institutional buying this small candles th these are some you know these are different um, buyings but these this indicates that the huge buying is happening by the you know uh, fis and dis mutual funds or you know uh, foreign investors see here all these candles are small small tiny tiny candles what is so significant about them they are not letting the price fall right and the price is taking a good beautiful support and see here had somebody bought it in on 11th of um, for 1st of you know january had somebody bought it on 11th 11th of january or 9th of january 2017 he would have got it for 460 rupees and the money would have been 10 times money would have been 10 times within one year one 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 year 10 days or one year two three months this is the beauty of you know identifying such trains okay next slide i'm going to tell you what is fi and dii buying okay so see you there but Please keep a sharply tuned eye and have some very, very, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a list of good stocks, you know, like which are um, supposed to be, you know, excellent stocks in the sense oh, with respect to, you know, uh, with respect to their fundamentals, they will be very, very good trades, good, good stocks. So I'm going to give you a list. So here is the Bal Balaji Mines. Look at the beautiful support it has taken. But when it is taking the support, look at the size of the candles, very, very tiny, right? And then after that, this is this is what value? This is roughly about at this point. It was at 134. And where did it lead? Oh my god, it went up to here, which is three four hundred, roughly about four hundred rupees. So such a flight, and then beyond that, it's at 773, right? So this is how the flights, the stocks take flight. If you keep track, tracking them, you will be able to crack the code. You'll be able to crack the code and you'll be able to create good positions. So see here, PCJ, right? Whenever the moving average is taking the support, the, this is a very volatile stock. You know, that is why it's a future stock. That's why you see these big candles. Otherwise, it would have been these tiny candles only. But see, even after taking the support, the stock has gone from... 357 to 590 right 357 to 590 huge 230 point gain within no time so this is a very very important concept i i really work on them a lot so see you in the next slide which is fii dii activity